From a bottle of olive oil to an oil spill, GC Image provides a chemical blueprint. This is an image of a diesel sample. Founding director and CEO Steve Reichenbach started GC Image based on his research in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Nebraska. Anything that has a complex chemical makeup, this software helps analyze data produced by multidimensional chromatography. Reichenbach's early research involved image processing and grew to include sophisticated analysis techniques. We use many traditional image processing techniques and some either specially adapted or some new techniques that we've developed to, for example, isolate uh, the spots and measure their, uh, measure their intensity. Then at the higher level, we apply machine learning classification uh, uh, techniques and develop new methods for, for example, distinguishing one wine from another wine. That's a project that I've enjoyed very much. A spin-off company like GC Image brings jobs and money to the state and creates internships for students. Reichenbach also mentors other professors interested in building research into a business. Faculty members are already entrepreneurs, and so I, I, one thing I try to communicate is that it's not much of a jump from being a faculty member to an entrepreneur. Today, GC Image has clients all over the world. The people that use the software work on very important problems, uh, understanding the sources of pollution, uh, for example, in oil spills, or doing forensics in, a, you know, in an arson case, or finding the causes of cancer. And so to see our software being used to help, to help solve or to help understand important societal problems are, uh, is, is rewarding.